Hey everyone, it's BOOD! And I'm back with another stuff. Today is Monday, and it's the middle of the day. It's 12.30. It's basically noon. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I am on my computer, guys. I got a brand new computer. I'm excited to share a bunch of stuff with you guys today and also cover a very potentially bearish story. I want to know what your guys' thoughts are about it. Let's start off with my computer, guys. I went ahead and I ordered a new computer here. Um, I'll grab my um, my camera here so you guys can see. So that's my door, and here's my desk right here, guys. Got a computer. Got my TV in the background for video games. Got my desk. There's my phone there. And here's my new computer right here, guys. Um, this is a very small computer. This is my hand next to it. Um, this computer is very small, but it packs an absolute punch, guys. Um, we are looking at i7. We're looking at um, a nice, fat 256 solid-state drive, guys, and it's pretty cool to have that stuff. So um, excited to get back on some videos here on my laptop. Um, so I've moved my desk. This is completely new territory for me, guys, but I'm excited to talk today, guys. And we have an article to cover today, guys, because it might be potentially bearish. So I'm excited to talk to you guys about it today. And honestly, we might need some people to respond. We might need Cavell. We might need NFT Wonderful to go ahead and pop out and talk about this stuff, guys, because we need to cover everything, guys. So let's go ahead and hump, hop straight away into the article. 18 people spent a week working in the metaverse. Two dropped out. And the rest felt frustrated and said their eyes hurt. Study finds. Guys, this is right up our alley here. So let's go ahead and read through this article here. Um, the concept of the metaverse has been hailed by evangelists as the future of work meeting and even the way that companies recruit workers. Yet the results in, of a recent experiment suggest that it could be still a long way from reality. 18 university staff logged into the metaverse for an entire working week. Two of them had to drop out due to nausea, while the rest reported feeling more frustrated, anxious, and said their eyes hurt by the end. At the most basic, the metaverse, which has become better known uh, since Facebook rebranded to meta, is the physical version of the internet, where people interact with avatars, blah, blah, blah. For the experiment outlined in the paper titled um, the researchers wanted to understand the effects of working in VR for extended periods and how it compared to work. Why did it just scroll like that? That's stupid. How it compared to work in the physical environment. They asked the volunteers who were all either university staff or researchers to spend an entire five-day working week in recreated virtual reality. It amounted to eight hours a day with a 45-minute lunch break Afterwards, they spent the same time in a real-world work environment. Participants were given tasks to complete. Two of the participants dropped out within hours complaining of nausea, anxiety, and migraines. Caused partly by the weight of the Oculus Quest, it says. So, we've definitely got some people that obviously are, are you know, this news story here in general is kind of just FUD about the future right obviously there's going to be stories about that but as you guys can see you know we've got two people that dropped out everybody else saying that they had some adverse effects um so i want to know what your guys thoughts are you know is this does this bode bad for ar in the future or is ar going to be advanced enough that we can mitigate these problems and still have ar or vr or whatever it may be i need to know what your guys thoughts are um, so let's continue on here. The remainder lasted the week, but reported some negative consequences compared to the physical work environment. Participants reported on average a 42% increase in their frustration levels and 48% increase in eye strain. They also reported feeling more anxious by almost a fifth and overall suffered a 20% drop in well-being. Oh, wow. So that's not good news for this, you know. Um, so that's basically the end of the article there without really going too deep into it. But you guys can pull this up. This is on Business Insider here. Um, you know, the art, the titles right here for you guys if you guys are interested. Um, I really wanted to bring that up to you guys to talk about it. You know, 
what they didn't do in that, they didn't do a couple things. First of all, that article is just a fun article, first of all, kind of. Second of all, they didn't talk to anybody who had like a good experience. They didn't talk to a single person that had a good experience. They didn't really talk to the people that closely or at least for the article. So it's a little bit misleading. So, um, you know, is this bad for AR and VR technologies? I would love to know what your guys' thoughts are now. Last but not least, I want to just touch on whether or not this impacts VV. And the answer is no, it doesn't, guys. It doesn't. So that's pretty much that, guys. I wanted to share this article with you. I'd love for some other people to pick up this article and let me know what your guys' thoughts are about it because this type of thing is needs to be talked about. We need to kind of keep a watchful eye for this crazy stuff just so we know what's coming down the road so that we can kind of combat this crazy FUD when we do see it pop up. All right, everybody? And that's really it, guys. I got my new setup here, guys. I would love to hear from you guys down below. What are your thoughts about it? How do you guys feel about the video quality? Drop a like, drop a sub, drop whatever you can, dude. Do whatever you can. Um, and that's really all I have for you guys today. All right, everybody? I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.